Hey guys, RC here, back with Starter's Order 7 Tutorial Episode 3. Uh, this is going to just be kind of a hodgepodge. I don't know if we're going to get into the stuff I wanted to, but, you know, just a quick glance. This is the end of the first year. Um, you can see we ended up with $60,000 in the hole because I bought three more horses and uh, I ended up not having enough money to breed two of them. So I bought them for nothing because, you know, if they're breeding horses and they aren't pregnant, they aren't doing anything for me. So they skipped the month of December in the game. I guess they, you know, they take holiday. Uh, so the end of November is the end of the year, around November 25th or something like that, right before Thanksgiving, uh, which is the last Thursday in November here in the States. So this is the end of season awards. It gives you your top jockey, your top... Uh, trainer and your top apprentice which is your top uh, apprentice jockey they're learning to ride uh, so that's what's going on there we're going to close that out uh, here are your top horses um, wow that's the first time so i told you i had played a couple of times just to learn a little bit secretary did not win so i want to go look just for giggles that's crazy. One thing real quick. Oh, here's our new horses. So these are all the horses, and a lot of them are girls. Three colts, so that's good. And you can see most of them were by Jono. So we can go in and start looking at these colts if we want to. Let's look at the colts. Very low potential. Uh... He's got decent potential, so he might bring some money. And Belina Blue, no potential. So what I'm going to do is I need to raise money. I'm going to go ahead and put them in, uh, I'm going to put all three Colts in auction. These are just going to be money raisers, right? I'm going to keep the girls because those are all free breeding mares at worst. Um, even if they're not any good, it's just like going out and paying two, three thousand dollars for one, right? So we just saved thirty thousand dollars in buying more horses that we can now turn into um, breeding, you know, uh, the stud stud fees. So let's get out of there. Here's available horses. These are horses that you can buy at the end of the year. They give you a guide on how much they might cost. Uh, I haven't messed with that. These are existing horses in the game that are running. All right, so if we go back into our breeding stable, you'll notice now we have our mares, our stallions, and now we have our yearlings. So there they are. So you can't do anything with them. They can't breed until they're two. I think it's two. Uh, we'll find out for sure here in a minute because I'll go one more year. Uh, but we want to go and see if these colts sell for anything. But the next thing we want to do, we also need money so we can afford to get these mares pregnant again. So let's go ahead and skip. All right, today's a sale day. I don't know if this is where they go. Um, it does not appear. No, they're going to be a yearling. So this will be March 1st when they go. So I can't do anything till March 1st. So I'm just going to click through to that date. And you can see, again, it goes real fast if you're not going into the races. All right, here we are on March 1st. We're going to skip. And boom, we have $922,000. Let's go to the sales. So our three horses, we had one, Gas and Golf. Is that the one that had the, and see, now I can't see his, uh, his ratings. But he goes for $525,000. The other two go for $301,000. And again, I could try to sell the mares and then buy another year of really, really cheap ones, especially if I could get three hundred thousand a piece. You know what? I'm gonna sell one just to do it. Let's find one. See, she's got really good potential. That one has no potential, so we're gonna auction her off. 
And that'll be at the next yearling, I am pretty sure, which is going to be April 30th. So let's come back for that. All right. So if we're not bidding on horses, we don't have to go. Just hitting skip, the auction will take place. Now, you'll see our dollars went down. I have not spent any money. That's just your maintenance and upkeep and salaries. All right. So boom. Now we can go into sales. And she went for $89,000. So you could choose to try to, and she didn't have very good potential. So you could choose to auction them off and then turn around and buy a three or $4,000 uh, breeder. But I'm going to hold on to these. <clears throat> Now I could go through and I could look and see at the ones that are, you know, that have upside. Uh, I wish there was a way that you could choose like a different, uh, you know, like ratings, you know, like and see what their potential was on this screen altogether and sort by that. I think that would be really good. That's included in a lot of sports games that I play. But uh, anyway. We're going to keep these guys or these gals. They're going to end up uh, probably becoming breeding mares. If I see one that, you know, has like her with a really high potential, then I might sell that one off. See, that one doesn't have much in the way of potential. But anyway, we'll keep that. So let's go back to our breeding stable because remember our mares and we have to get them pregnant again. So now we have 977,000. Let's sort by our rating again. We're gonna redo our group stage because remember that's gonna change as they have been racing. And now you can see the top fee is $800,000. Uh, and where's Jono? Let's see how much he's going for. Oh, Jono's way down here. He's still 4760 and has it raced so he's going to be your he's going to be your bargain basement but you can see breeding cost go up every year so it's it really benefits you to jump start that first year with as many horses as you can and eventually you know we will start generating 12 13 million dollars in sales and it won't take long probably this next year if i move out some of these two-year-olds uh just you know how that goes so let's start here. I'm going to sort them upside down because that's just going to be the easiest. And all of these guys have second place finishes. So let's, let's up our game a little bit. I don't want to go super high, but who's the first guy that has a win? All right, that's going to be McDougal, 29,000. So I'm going to breed him with our best horses over 40. And then we're gonna come in and do everybody else with the rest of our horses. And I'm just gonna work my way up the price line here. That's all I'm doing. And down our reputation, our, our uh, rating line for our horses. So they're getting cheaper as we're getting farther down our quality of mare. That's kind of what I'm looking at. Again, I don't know what those F's mean. Uh, when I was doing this before, I was trying to keep only F horses breeding with F horses. All right, and we'll go with you. And you know what, Jono, I'm not giving you any money this year. And McDougal, I will breed with all the rest of these. Oh, and just to let you know, oh, we need to... If, uh, if there is an unsuccessful pairing where the where your mayor does not get pregnant, you pay them anyway. And you can click this repeat unsuccessful pairings. But remember, at this level, it may not bankrupt you. But if you're paying over a million dollars and it takes four times to, to get in full, that's four million dollars. So you have to be very careful doing that. Uh, so we want McDougal one more time. And luckily he has done his job with gusto. There you go. So all of our brood mares are in full. 
I am going to go to the breeders market here on the 13th. And you know what? We're going to be able to step our game up. So I said that would be the 13th. There we are. So now that we have 662,000, I still don't need to buy anything from my farm yet. I don't need a jockey. I don't need the, the start boy. I don't need, you know, any of that. But now we can start looking, instead of looking at the 1,000 and 1,500s, I don't want to go stupid, but maybe a 15,000. And then, of course, the 1,000 and 2,000 won't hurt us. All right, so we're going to go after this one, and I'd like to get this one if I can. So this has a $15,000 reserve. Right now we're at $22,700, and I got it, so that's good. All right, this one has a $2,000 bid, and we're already at twenty-seven. dollars I'm going to push it. You know, now I can kind of afford to push these if I want to go to $4,000, because again, you spend four thousand and another twenty thousand. That's twenty four thousand for buying the horse and breeding it. But then you might be able to sell it for half a million dollars or a quarter million dollars. You know, it's just so. This is where you're going to make your money early in the game, and you can keep doing this even once you start racing. You can keep a breeding stable going, which you're going to want to do. You're going to want to breed your own colts. For racing and uh, get them gone uh, you know get them in because then you're getting them for free and your, your goal is to generate so here is one thing to keep in mind there are no guarantees we could have a hundred and forty rated mare and we could breed them to a 200 rated stallion that has won 50 of 50 races and has earned uh, you know 18 billion dollars doesn't mean anything. They could have, you know, they're just as likely to have a colt that can't even stand up as it is to have, uh, you know, the next great champion, right? So, all right. So we actually, that one horse that we bought, the big one, is actually a 53. So that's our biggest rated one now. So let's sort this by group wins now and see if there's one that we can afford so there's actually a $51,000 fee here. I'm going to take a gamble on her. Now, these two down here, not so worried about. Uh, McDougal's still available, so let's get McDougal in on her. And Yurik, uh, we're going to look at... Are there any other stake winners that are just relatively inexpensive? Now, McDougal cost us what? 30, see, he's up to 30000 now. So this one has a, a second and two-thirds, Dirarius. We're going to go with that one. And they're all in full. And I've still got a half a million. So when's our next breeder sale? That'll be on the 24th of July. Now, I have never seen a horse miscarry. So... Just saying. Now, one thing that jumps out on me here is we have this horse, Rainbow Queen. And you notice they have a sire and a dam. Sire is the stallion that bred with it. And the dam is the mother, the female breeding horse. So we can look at the witch doctor, W-H-I-C-H. Uh, he has quite a few in the money finishes. And he's got a one. he's gone from an 83 to a 119 rating. So he's, he looks pretty good. Persian Victory is about a 50 rating, but had gotten up to a 70 at one point. So that could be one to look at. And they give you a rough rating estimate of the horse. That one's got a 96. And I don't know what the reserve's going to be, but she's one I think I want to take a look at. So 96 rating is here. That's Rainbow Queen. 312,000. I can't afford that. Now, if I had, you know, several million, I'd probably go after her because that 96 rating. But, and I wish I could sort here, but 
let's try to limit it to over 50 now. So there's one for 15. There's one for 15. 12, 5. And that one jumps all the way to 165,000. I'm going to say no to that one. So we're going to come down here. We're making sure we're paying attention. All right, we have a 15.5 reserve. We're at 19.6. We've got the high bid. And you can tell that by last bidder is you. All right. All right, so this is a horse we're bidding on. This has a, a $15,000 reserve. I'm going to let the, the bidders get their, get their you know, nuts out on the table. And then, you know, then we know what we're dealing with. We can decide, okay, we want to bid. The other thing to keep in mind when you're bidding, guys, and this is true in any type of auction, if you're bidding and you only raise it by $1 or $10 or whatever, then it keeps more people interested in, you know, because then they can raise it by, you know, like, so we have a $100 minimum bid. So if we only raise it by 100 it's easy for the other guy to come back and say, well, I'll raise you 100 because that's only $200. But if we pop $1,000, then he's got to go, well, geez, that's the equivalent of 10 bids by me. And he may be less inclined to raise you. Now, you may end up spending a little more, but it may actually save you money in the long run. All right, so we just bought three nice horses. Let's go look at these. Take a look at our ratings. And they, three of the four, they're three of our top four horses now. All right, so we're going to go after her, redo my group, and I think we're going to go with Snakebite again here. We're going to drop that 53000 And then on these, I would like something similar. So Cornish Set is 40000 And do I want another one in here? Now this one has won its only race. So he's at 45. That's still maybe a good value. So that's what we're hoping for. And again, you can see as I get better quality mares, I want to have higher quality uh, stallions. Now, there's nothing that says, you know, go cheap and you can just make tons of money. All right, so I'm going to pause it here. We're going to come back at the end of the year, and we'll see how this works out. All right, we are coming up to the end of the year. You can see my list of uh, breeding mares is up to 23. They are all in full. Quite a few to McDougal. Uh, snake bite we did with a couple, and you can see our rating. We've gotten a couple of nice horses. Uh, but we are 30,000 in the hole, which means we're going to have to sell some horses uh, again. But let's go ahead and get to the end of the year. Like I said, I think it's around the 26th. It's the 27th. Uh, so that is, uh, there's our top jockey is Saez. Saez. McPeak is the top trainer. Thornton is the top apprentice. There are your top horses in each class oh their secretary the top three-year-old won all eight races 7.47 million in earnings and there you go so here's the thing you you know that that horse just won seven million dollars in a year okay but we can make i've made 13 million dollars in a year just by selling foals so you know but this horse is going to be able to win more money and then retire and then take command huge stud fees you know so that's kind of you know it, it's a balance all right so here is all of our new horses we've got one two three four five nine we've got ten colts so boy i would certainly like to keep those but let's see. So McDougal's the one that we had as our high one, right? So Brax Gale, eh, that didn't turn out well. Uh, Snake Bite was actually the really expensive one. That didn't turn out well. So again, there's not an exact science. All right, here's McDougal again. Still not very 
good. Uh, da -da, McDougal. Um, let's find the other snake bites because those are the. All right, here's snake bite. All right, now there's one. Look at the potential on that. Up over 50%. That's really good. So that would be one we'd like to keep uh, long term. And you know, it is a female, though. So we, you know, but that gives us maybe a better quality breeding mare. Maybe we race her. Maybe we race her. Who knows? Uh, that doesn't have a lot of upside. All right. Well, anyway, so that gives us our horses. There's some available two year olds if we want to buy any for a preseason auction. But again, we don't have any money. And in fact, we are 47,000 in the hole. So now you can see we have seven horses that have gone to the racing stable. These were the yearlings from last year's yearling class. So let's see if we want to keep any of these. Potential is good. Remember, two years old, is when they are worth the most money if they haven't raced. She's got potential. I'm going to go ahead and auction her off. Off camera. I'm going to keep her. Can I retire her to stud? Yes. Now she's going to disappear from our list because she's moved to the breeding barn. All right, so Shamadar. We're going to go ahead and auction. That's close to 50%. Bright day. I'm trying. I don't want to race any of the females. But if they look like. Oh, look at the potential on that one. Uh, Queen's Mark. I want to keep an eye on that one. What she goes for. All right. That one doesn't have any. So we're going to. We're, we're probably not going to get a lot for her. We'll put her out to, to the pasture. And we'll try to auction this one off. So it was Queen's Mark. And we want to get to the, uh, this is going to be a yearling sale, which will take place March 1st. And that's what we need to sell these to get some money. So we'll see you guys in a couple of months. All right. It is auction day. So let's take a quick look. And boom, 4.6 million. Let's check the sales. Uh, da, 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 March 1st. Where are, where are my horses? Why are they not listed? I do not know. I don't know. Do I have to skip a day to get them to show up? shouldn't have they were the date was in there i don't know why mine didn't show up maybe you know these are all yearlings strange strange all right well but we did raise four million dollars so we're going to call that an episode uh and now we have if we take a quick look we do have uh we we've sold all of our racers We've added a couple more of the two-year-old mares to our breeding stable. And we've got a big assortment of colts for next year. So what we want to try to do is really invest this money in some top quality stallions for our better mares, the four or five at the top of our chart. Uh, and we, you know, I would say probably these these six six or seven and then we also have the two-year-olds now she does, she's got some average potential she doesn't have any potential so probably but maybe maybe off camera we give her a, a a good stud and then the top ones up here and then everybody else we go with you know the cheaper ones also taking a look you can see uh Bubs's boy is almost a million dollars, uh, $600,000. So, you know, they've gotten much, much more expensive. Snake bite was doing what? 50,000. Now he's almost double 93,000. So anyway, we've got to factor that in. And so we're going to use our money for that. And then we may have some horses for next year. So, uh, we'll come back, uh, 
I think I'm going to skip this year. I'm going to play it myself off camera. And when we come back, we will have some of these Colts ready for racing. So guys, we'll see you for that for next season. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.